Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this WePrima 60 watt soldering iron kit. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to this in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So this has a plastic case here. And if we open it up, it has foam lining in the top and it has some foam in the bottom to hold the different parts. It has a little pamphlet here. It has different warnings and some operating instructions in it. So here are some specs. The temperature range on this is 220 to 480 degrees Celsius or 428 to 896 degrees Fahrenheit. So here's the soldering iron itself. It has an on off switch there. It has a temperature selector. It's currently set to 220. Let's see if I can get that focused in here. There we go. So you can turn this to adjust the temperature. There's the 480 is the top. I think that's an indicator light. So this is kind of a hard plastic here. And then this is rubber. We can pull this off here. And this is where you put the tips in. So this comes with a lot of different tips. I'll go over those in just a second. It comes with a soldering tip cleaner. So this has that kind of like brass scrub pad type material. It also comes with a sponge. I'm guessing you could wet that and put that in the lid there. It comes with a solder vacuum. So you can press this down here and now it's loaded. You place this on the molten solder and press the button and it sucks it up. If we look at the tip, there's a little ejector pin there. So if any solder gets stuck in the tip, you can push that out. And then you can unscrew this to empty the solder. It has a pair of very fine point tweezers. It has some solder, it's stuck in here pretty good. There we go, came with some solder. Here's a soldering iron stand. So let's take a look at the tips it came with. So these six were in a pouch. These are some points. There's some little chisel tips here. I like this size, so that's the one I'm going to put on it. It also has these tips here. So I don't know exactly what all of these tips are for. These might be for like stained glass work maybe. So this comes to a point. This is almost like a knife here, and that's kind of a wedge. Here's two kind of wedge tips. Here's a point. I don't know exactly what you call that one there. And this has a little indentation on it. I'm not sure what that's used for, but I'm guessing there's a specific need for that one. So the end of this is threaded right now. So you could take one of these tips and thread it in. But I want to put this tip on. So I'll unscrew this, pull that off. I'll pull this off. Now, as far as I know, that's ceramic. So that could be brittle. You want to be careful with that. So I will set this over it. Put the sleeve over and then tighten that down. There we go. Place this one back in the pouch in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to plug this in. I'll put it in the stand. And I'm not going over all the safety things here. This is really hot, so you wouldn't want to touch it. But if you're not familiar with soldering irons, I would do some research or maybe find a mentor to help you so you don't hurt yourself with these. Okay, so I have two wires here I'm going to solder. I'll pull some solder out of here so it's ready to go. I also need to turn the soldering iron on. So I'll turn it on like that. And that light is lit up saying it's on. If I turn it off, the light will go off. Before I solder, I'll need to tin the tip here. So when this gets heated up, I'll touch solder to it until it's silver, and then I'll clean it off here, and it'll be ready to go. I'm not sure what temperature the solder needs. I'll just turn it up to around 325. We'll try that. Okay, I melted solder on the tip. I'll clean that off real quick. So to solder these together, I'm going to melt a little bit of solder on the tip here. That'll help conduct the heat to the wires. I'll hold those to the wires, and then I'll hold the solder on the other side. Okay, they're soldered together. I'll let that cool off. I also have a circuit board here, and on the other side of this I have a capacitor. Let's see if I can melt the solder here. Okay. So say I want to remove this. Sometimes it can be helpful to add some solder. So I'll add some here on both of these. Okay, so that is melted. I'll put the solder vacuum on there and it sucked the solder up. I was on the wrong terminal there.
It has been a while since I've used one of those. Let's see if this is loose yet. Oh, I can't take that off. It has goo on it. <laughs> I did get a good extraction on this here, this little wire. So, oh, this wire sticking up because I cut whatever it was off. There. So I'll have to get some more practice with this. I will say this feels very good to hold in the hand. I like this rubber on here. It's not hot at all and it's very grippy. So it's very easy to hold with my hand and manipulate. So that's the Wii Prima 60 watt soldering iron kit. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.